workout for today. All I'm using today is a set of 10 pound dumbbells. 10 pounds is a good weight for me, but you may need to use something lighter or heavier depending on your strength and on your level of fitness, what you have available to you and how hard you're looking to push yourself today. So please consider all of those factors when choosing your weights and make the decision that is best for you. If you don't have dumbbells, household items will work. So you can grab a couple of shampoo bottles or water bottles. You can fill them with water or uncooked rice, for example. I am also going to be using my jump rope, but if you don't have a jump rope, that's fine. You can skip the jump rope sections. It will still be a great workout without the jump rope. Or if you prefer, you can substitute with some other type of cardio exercise while I'm jumping rope. So if you have an elliptical or an exercise bike or a treadmill, that would be perfect. You could hop on one of those for about five, 10 minutes. You could do up and down the stairs, you could shadow box, you could work on the heavy bag, any type of cardio exercise you want to do while I'm jumping rope will work. I will walk you through the exercises as we are going. So go ahead and grab your jump rope if you have one and if you're using one. Grab a set of dumbbells if you have them. If not, look for household items that will work. Take a minute to make sure you're good and warmed up and when you're ready, let's get started. So I'm going to be starting with jump rope, five sets of 100. When I say a set of 100, I'm talking about revolutions of the jump rope. So any style of jump rope you want to do is fine. I always just kind of jog in place while I'm jumping rope, but if you are more comfortable jumping with your feet together, that's fine, jump with your feet together. If you're really good at jump rope, you can do high knees or jump rope jacks. The only important thing is that we're counting revolutions of the rope. So I'm counting 100 revolutions of the rope, that's one set, and I'm going to do five sets. It's gonna take me somewhere in the neighborhood of plus or minus like five minutes or so. So if you don't have a jump rope, you can hop on the elliptical or the treadmill for five minutes, or do up and down the stairs for five minutes, go for a jog, anything you wanna do for five minutes. If you're not doing these little cardio sections, you can skip ahead about five minutes and start the main part of the workout. But I'm going to start with five sets of 100 with my jump rope. So here we go. As soon as you're ready, I am starting my timer. My timer is set a stopwatch, and here we go. So you're counting revolutions of the rope like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. big set of 500. If that works better for you, that's totally fine. or sets of 20 and if 500 total reps is too many you can do fewer reps just do what works for you okay that's three sets we have to do two more let's go set number four
then we'll move on to the main part of the workout. Here we go. alternating between a strength training exercise using the dumbbells and a cardio exercise, which is going to be a body weight exercise each time. Um, so I'm going to start with, uh, what am I starting with? Um, bent over flies. So this is our first strength training exercise. We're just doing 10 reps. So hold on to your dumbbells. You want your shoulders back and down, chest high. Core is engaged, so tighten up those abs. Make sure you're hinging at the hips, keeping your back flat and the weight in your heels as you bend over, and make sure you have a slight bend to your knees. Don't lock your knees out like this. Okay, so you're going to bend over. So there's a slight bend to my knees. I'm pushing my booty back like I'm trying to touch that wall behind me with my booty, and my back is flat. I also have a slight bend to my elbows, but I'm just gonna lift the weights out to the side like this, and we're gonna do 10 reps. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, five more. Okay, that's our first exercise done already. You think this workout's gonna be fast and easy, don't you? It is not. All right, so I'm gonna keep my dumbbells right here. I'm going to use them for my first cardio exercise. And just because I have an insatiable need to make everyone hate me, I'm going to add another level of difficulty to this workout. Each of these cardio exercises is going to be double counted. So really we're counting each two reps as one rep. So I'm gonna do hop overs. I just have my dumbbells here as a target, but I could just as easily hop over this line in the concrete. Um, I like having a physical target that I have to clear because it makes me um, really make sure that I'm getting up and over something, but that's up to you. So I'm gonna be hopping over my dumbbells. You can hop over whatever you want. Um, and we're counting each two hops as one rep. So starting from one side, I'm gonna jump with my feet together up and over the dumbbells and back to the other side and that's one rep we're climbing the ladder so the first exercise we did 10 reps this exercise we're doing 20 reps okay so as soon as you're ready we're counting like this one two three four five ten And that's 20. Okay, what is next? Upright rows. So alternating between strength training exercise using the dumbbells and a body weight cardio exercise. So 
grabbing the dumbbells and we're climbing the ladder. So the last exercise, we did 20 reps. This exercise, we're gonna do 30 reps. So 30 reps of upright rows. I'm starting by holding the weights in front of me. My palms are facing the front of my leg and the back of my hand is facing you. And from here, I'm just going to bend my elbows and lift the weights up towards my shoulders like this, and then lower them back down, return to my starting position. So make sure that you're controlling the movement on the way back down. Don't just let the weights drop, but control the movement down. Okay, 30 reps. It's gonna be tough. I probably will not be able to do all 30 without pausing to rest. So do your best, and if you need to break it up into sets of 10 or 15, do whatever you need to do, okay? So when you're ready, shoulders back and down, core is engaged, knees are soft. It's one, two, three, four, five. We're going to 30, keep going, do your best. Money for me, I have to do 10 more. support. You can grab that. So 10 reps of our first exercise, 20 reps of popovers, 30 reps of our upright row. So now we're doing 40 reps. It's going to be a bodyweight cardio exercise because we're alternating between dumbbells and bodyweight. We're alternating between strength training and cardio and we're double counting these reps because we're double counting the reps of all of our cardio exercises. Okay, so I'm doing kickups. So I have my fingers facing this wall over here. Uh, you might be more comfortable with your fingers facing out. That's up to you. I like to have my fingers facing the wall. I'm gonna press my hands into the mat, press my feet into the ground and lift my hips. And now I'm going to lift one foot. I'm gonna jump and switch the feet. Jump and switch the feet back. So that is one rep. And we're doing 40 of these. They suck, sorry. So you're counting like this. One, two, three, four, five.
next. Strength training. Grab your dumbbells. Actually, I'm gonna use my mat for this as well. So, I'm gonna be doing chest presses. If you have a weight bench, great. You can use that. I'm just gonna do them right here on my mat. So grab your dumbbells or your water bottles or shampoo bottles, whatever you're using for weight. Come down onto your mat. Knees are bent, feet are flat on the floor or the ground. I'm gonna have my weights up here by my shoulders. My elbows are out to the side. And I'm just going to straighten my arms and press the weights up overhead. And then bend my elbows and lower the weights back down. Return to my starting position. Again, making sure you're controlling the movement. So control the movement on the way up and then really focus on controlling the movement on the way down. The last exercise we did 40 reps. So this exercise, we're doing 50 reps. We are climbing the ladder if you're just doing a ladder workout. If you're doing a pyramid workout with me, we are making our way up the pyramid and then later we're gonna make our way down the pyramid. So here we go, when you're ready. So press the weights up overhead bend the elbows and lower the weights, return to your starting position, that's one, two, three, four, five, we're going to 50, just do your best. That's 25, we're halfway there. That's 40, I have to do 10 more. I just wanna make sure to tell you that one thing is that you wanna make sure that you cannot fit your hand underneath your low back. So don't allow your pelvis to be tilted this way so that your low back lifts off the mat. See how I can fit my hand under here? Tilt your pelvis this way so that your low back is pressed into the mat and you cannot fit anything between your low back and the mat, okay? So, final 10 reps, weights up by the shoulders, tilt the pelvis, press that low back into the mat, and here we go, control the movement on the way up, control the movement on the way down. That's 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, last one, and 50. All right, we're halfway up the ladder. So you know the next exercise is going to be a cardio exercise. You know it's going to be a body weight exercise. You know we're doing 60 reps, and you know we're double counting our reps. So now let's find out what it is because I don't remember. High knees. So all you're going to do 
is take one knee at a time and drive it up as high as you can towards your chest, okay? So again, we're counting each two knee raises as one rep, and we're going to be jumping. So I'm not just going to be standing in place and marching. It's going to be like I'm jogging in place, but instead of just jogging, I'm driving those knees up to my chest with each jump. So we're doing 60 reps, double counted. So when you're ready, here we go. So you're gonna count one, two, three, four, five. So now we're on to our next exercise, strength training. So grab your dumbbells. We're doing 70 reps. Now for this exercise, I'm going to be in a plank position with my weight on my dumbbells like this. So, my dumbbells are shaped like hexagons, meaning they're flat on the bottom. If your dumbbells are rounded here on the ends, I would prefer that you not use them the way I'm doing them. I'm going to be doing plank rows. If you are using water bottles or shampoo bottles or dumbbells that are round here, I would prefer if you do bent over rows instead. So you can, Really just, um, you can do with, I'm just gonna be doing one hand at a time and we're doing how many of these? 70. So you can just, if you have a weight bench or something, you can have your knee up on the weight bench or you can do a staggered stance and just do your rows like this. Okay, um, 35 on one arm and then switch and do 35 on the other arm. Or you can hold a dumbbell in each hand and alternate arms whatever works for you, but some sort of uh, bent over row. I would prefer that you do if you don't have dumbbells that are flat on the bottom. 70 reps, 35 on each arm. I'm going to be doing plank rows. So I'm going to alternate arms with each row. I'm gonna start in a plank position. So make sure that your hips are lifted high. Make sure your core is strong and tight and engaged. So tighten those abs and don't let your hips drop down like this. Keep the hips high, and now one at a time, I'm going to bend my elbow and bring the weight up towards my shoulder, and then control the movement on the way down. Other side, bend the elbow, bring the weight up towards the shoulder, control the movement on the way down. Alternating sides, 70 total reps. When you're ready, here we go.
mind for me. So that's 30 for me. I have to do another 40, but I need to rest. So I'm gonna pause and rest for a good, I don't know, 60 seconds here. I'm not timing it, I'm just going by feel. If you don't need to rest, don't rest. <laughs> but if you are resting with me, Remember to go at your own pace. So when I start back up again, you can start back up with me if you feel that you are ready to continue with good form. If you don't feel that you have enough strength to continue with good form, then please pause the video, wait until you feel that you're ready to continue with good form, and then come back only when you're ready. Do not sacrifice your form for speed. Okay, so you should be going at your own pace. I have to do 40 more reps, but from here on out, I'm going to tackle these in sets of 10. So for right now, I'm just going to do another 10 reps. So as soon as you feel like you're ready, come back up to our plank. I'm picking up my count at 30. centered and still as opposed to doing this and uh, rotating my hips to the side. So um, it's difficult. I'm not saying you're going to stay perfectly still, but just be mindful of that as you row the weight. Try to have that be the only thing that's moving. Try to keep your body centered and still while you're rowing the weight, okay? Just do your best. So I'm picking up my count at 40. I'm gonna do another set of 10. So when you're ready, here we go. So that's 50 for me. Two more little sets of 10. <sighs> Trying to keep my rest breaks as short as I can. <sighs> so we can keep this moving. Here we go, another set of 10 when you're ready. You know, next exercise is going to be a body weight exercise. You know, it's going to be a cardio exercise. 
you know we're doing 80 reps and you know we're double counting the reps. It's just jumping jacks. I think everybody knows how to do jumping jacks since you were about five years old. Um, one thing I will say is about my jumping jacks, I like to alternate for bringing my arms to the side and then bringing them in front of me. So once jumping with my arms out to the side and then one jump with my arms to the front, I'm counting as one rep, okay? And we're doing 80 of these. So really it's 160 jumping jacks, the way I'm counting them, so do your best. Uh, if I can do all eight of that stuff, then great, I'll do that. If not, I'll probably stop halfway through and then start doing sets of 10. So do what works for you. When you're ready, jumping jacks, 80 reps counting like this. One, two, three, four, five. Keep going. Going at 80. going to finish up that last 10. But since I'm pacing myself for 80, I need to rest. We're halfway there. I'm going to start breaking them up into sets of 10. Unless I feel like I can do 20 unbroken. We'll see. I'll go to uh, 50 and then I'll see if I feel like I can keep going and do 20 or if I need to pause and rest and just do sets of 10 from here on out. So do it works for you. When you're ready, here we go. Pick up my count at 40. slightest bit of doubt in my mind if I was miscounting. All right. For now, I'm going to call that 60. I have to do 20 more. And then because I'm me, I'm going to do another 10 just to make sure that I didn't miscount and short my reps. All right. So picking up my count at 60, let's see if I can get to 80 without stopping. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seventy, ten more. One, two, three, four, five, 
for me. That's 30 for me. I'm going to pause and take a short rest. Um, if you started with heavier weights and you're getting too heavy, we're doing 90 reps. So that's a lot of reps. You can always switch to a lighter set of weights. So if you have more than one set of dumbbells, you can switch to a lighter set if you want. If you're using water bottles or shampoo bottles, you can dump out some of the weight if you're getting too heavy. Just make the decision that's best for you. 
Um, I'm picking up my count at 30. Let me see if I can do another 20 without pausing to rest. I don't think 30 is realistic, but I'll try to get to 20. So again, if you need a longer rest break, pause the video, come back when you're ready. I'm gonna go for another 20, do your best and work at your own pace. Here we go. Forty for me. That's fifty for me. I actually feel like I might be able to do another ten, so I'm going to try. So that's 60 for me and two thirds of the way there. If I can manage to do another set of 30, that'll be my 90 reps. So I will attempt to do that, but I need to rest for a minute first. Um, so while I'm resting, I'll just tell you that as I'm lifting the weight, I am lightly tapping my weight to the opposite shoulder. So it's really important, again, that you're controlling the movement. I really don't want anybody banging their shoulder or like their clavicle out with a big heavy dumbbell. So um, go ahead and tap your shoulder. Just really make sure the movement is under control so that you are lightly touching your shoulder with the weight and not banging yourself in the shoulder or the clavicle with the weight. Oh my God, just thinking about banging myself in the clavicle with this dumbbell is like making me cringe. So please don't do that. Um, all right, I am making up my count at 60. I'll go for another 20, and then again, after I have completed 20 reps, if I feel like I can keep going, I'll just go ahead and we'll do three sets of 30 to get my 90 reps done. All right, soft knees, shoulders back and down, core is engaged, here we go when you're ready. Just five more. 86, 87, 88, 89, last one, 90. Good job, those are tough. All right, we have reached the top of our ladder slash pyramid. So, body weight exercise, cardio exercise, now is where you're really gonna hate me because we're doing 100 mountain climbers and we're double counting them. So this is going to be absolutely excruciating. Um, do your best. There are different variations of mountain climbers. This is what I'm going to be doing. So start down here in a plank position and then bring one foot forward. So tuck your knee into your chest. Then you're just going to jump and switch the position of your feet. Then jump again and switch them back. And that's one rep, and we're just gonna do that 100 times. So I may or may not be able to do all 100 reps without stopping. I'll try, but I'll probably need to stop halfway through and um, take a little breather, so do your best. 
but the, this is the top of our ladder or pyramid. So let's push through and get these done as quickly as we can. So as soon as you're ready, 100 mountain climbers counting like this. One, two, three, four, five. Just 30 more. Good job. So that's the top of our ladder or pyramid. So if you are just making this a ladder workout and you're just climbing the ladder, you're almost finished. We're going to do another five sets of 100 with the jump rope. Or you can do one set of 500. You can do five minutes on the exercise bike five minutes up and down the stairs. You can jog for half a mile or a mile, depending on how fast you run. Of course, if you are eliminating these little cardio sections, you can be done. Do your bonus burpee. Take a good 20 minutes to stretch and then go have your shower, eat some lunch, get on with the rest of your day. If you are adding the little cardio sections with me, Then you can either jump rope with me, 500 revolutions of the rope, or fewer if you need to cut them back, or five minutes of some other type of cardio exercise. So I'm going to be doing, do, going to be doing five sets of 100 with my jump rope. Let me just shake out these quads and hope I can get my feet up and over this rope 500 times. So when you're ready, here we go. Starting with our first set of 100.
take the rest breaks in between as short as I can. Last set of 100. shower, eat lunch, get on with your day. If you are continuing on with me, we're going to now work our way down the pyramid. So we're going to repeat the whole thing in reverse. So you can also do this as a ladder workout starting at the top of the ladder, which would mean that you start here. Um, that is up to you. If you are continuing on with me and you want to turn this into a pyramid workout, um, so the first half took me 51 minutes. That puts me on a pace to complete the whole thing in an hour 40-ish. I would like to pick up my pace in the second round, and I think that's doable since I've already explained and demonstrated all of the exercises. You know what we're doing now. So let's try to pick up the pace a little bit as we work our way down the pyramid if you need to take a longer rest break so that you can towel off, get something to drink, let your heart rate come down a little more, slow down your breathing, pause the video, and come back when you're ready. I'm going to go ahead and get right into the second half of this pyramid. So I am repeating this jump rope section. I'm going to do another five sets of 100 with my jump rope, and then we're going to start with 100 mountain climbers and work our way back down the pyramid the same way we worked our way up the pyramid, okay? So when you're ready, here we go. Another five sets of 100 with the jump rope. <sighs>
my third set. I have two more to go. <sighs> Trying to keep it moving. <sighs> so I'm doing my best to keep my rest breaks in between sets as short as I can. jump rope. You do not have to go back and start the whole set over. Just take a deep breath, try to leave it behind you, and get back into it as soon as you can. Just pick up your count where you left off. I think I was on like 60 something. So I'm going to pick up my count at 60, and I'm just going to do another 40 revolutions of the rope to finish up the set. So I'm going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70. 80, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 100. So if you trip over your jump rope, it is totally fine. Like I said, just take a breath, get right back into it as quickly as you can. Just pick up your count where you left off. It's no problem. Final set of 100. Oh, I hate mountain climbers. They're so hard. But we're done with them. No more mountain climbers for the rest of the day. Okay, so now strength training. Cross body hammer curls. Alternating arms. 90 reps total. When you're ready, shoulders back and down, chest high, 
Core is engaged, soft knees. And 30. The first time through, I did these in three sets of 30, and I think that's going to be the most efficient way for me to tackle them again. So even though I don't feel like I necessarily need to rest here, I'm pacing myself for 90 total reps, I would like to do three sets of 30. So I'm going to pause and rest for just a minute here. But again, you need to be going at your own pace. So if you're stronger than I am and you don't need to rest, then don't rest. If you need a longer rest, the one I'm taking, pause the video, come back when you're ready. I'm gonna start on my next 30. So if I, I'm not able to do a set of 30 unbroken, that's fine, but that's what I'm gonna go for. Cause that's what I was able to do in round one. We'll see if I can do it again. If you find your shoulders creeping up, just remember to check in periodically, push those shoulders down. If you feel them creeping up towards your ears at any point, okay? Here we go, pick up my count of 30, soft knees. Shoulders back and down, control the movement. It's 40 for me. I'm going to go for another 10. 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, and 60. So I'm two thirds of the way there. I would like to do my final 30 reps unbroken if I can. So I'm just going to pause and rest for a good, I don't know, 30 seconds or so. Again, I'm not timing my rest, I'm just going by what it feels like. So I know it's more than like 10 or 20 seconds, I'm trying to keep it under a minute. So I'm assuming that it's somewhere in the neighborhood of 30 seconds or so. Okay, 30 more reps as soon as you feel that you're ready to continue with good form. So pick up the weights, check in with the body, shoulders back and down, chest high, core is engaged, soft knees, and here we go, final 30 reps, controlling the movement on the way up, controlling the movement on the way down. That's two, three, four, that's 65.
double counted. I'll see if I can get through the first 40 without stopping. Wish me luck. When you're ready, here we go. If we weren't double counting all of our cardio exercises, we'd be done with jumping jacks right now. But we are, so we're not halfway there. I've completed 40 reps. I have another 40 to go, so I may need to do sets of 10, but this is a nice long rest break. This is probably going to end up being at least a minute or so, give or take, for this rest break. So I think I should be able to do another 20 without stopping. We'll find out. I'll do at least 10 and then I'll see how I feel. If I'm capable of doing sets of 20, then I can just do two more sets of 20 to finish these out. So let's see what happens. I'm picking up my count at 40. If you need a longer rest break, pause the video, come back when you're ready. Here we go. I'm going to do at least another 10 and hopefully another 20 before I need to rest again. recovering from a set of 20 as opposed to recovering from a set of 40. I'll try to keep the rest break a bit shorter. And since I only have 20 more reps to go, I'll try to do my last 20 reps unbroken so that we can get these done quickly and move on. So that's probably been about 30 seconds or so. Let's see if we can finish up these last 20 reps without stopping. Picking up my count at 60, here we go. Or no, wait, 50, oh my God. Let's just do 20 more, because then I have to do 20 more. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, so that's what, 70. One, two, three, four, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, and 80. 
All right. So that's our 80 jumping jacks done. Now for rows. So I'm doing plank rows, 70 reps, alternating arms with each row. If your dumbbells are not flat on the bottom, you're doing some other variation of rows. So bent over rows or staggered stance. But 70 total reps, 35 on each arm. However you want to get it done is fine. As soon as you're ready, here we go. for me. I think I'll try to do another 20. I'm broken if I can. And then more than likely I'll split up the final 30 reps into sets of 10. But I'm resting a good 30 seconds or so here. So hopefully I have regained enough strength that I can do another set of 20 unbroken. We'll find out. That's what I'm gonna go for. So I'm picking up my count at 20. As soon as you're ready, here we go. So it's not that I am going until I can't do anymore necessarily. I'm just trying to do them in the most efficient way possible. So I think if I pause for another 30 seconds or so here, I might be able to do another set of 20 unbroken. And then I would only have to do 10 more. So let's go for it and see what happens. I'm picking up my count at 40, so let's see if I can do another 20 unbroken. If not, I'll just do three sets of 10, that's fine. Whatever you need to do to get it done. exercise. I think that's high knees, if I'm not mistaken. All right, 10 more reps, and then we're done with rows. That's 65, 66, 67, 68, 69. And 70. All right, good job. 
60 high knees. Double counted. It was chilly when I got dressed, so I decided to wear pants. I always know it's a mistake to wear pants, but I couldn't wrap my mind around putting on shorts because it was chilly. And now, of course, I'm dying. It's the same song and dance every time I wear pants. That rhymes. Okay, stalling, because I can't do 60 high knees in a row. It's okay, just do what you can. Rest when you need to, but let's go ahead and get into it. 60 reps, double counter, do your best. exercise, we will officially be halfway down the ladder or halfway finished with the second part of our pyramid. So remember to tilt your pelvis this way so that your low back is pressed into the mat. Can't fit your hand underneath there. Elbows up to the side, weights by the shoulders, and 50 reps of chest press as soon as you're ready. Here we go. Controlling the movement on the way up, controlling the movement on the way down. It's 25, we're halfway there. Keep pushing. It's 30. Just 10 more and squash. Tighten those abs, keep pushing. That's 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, last one, and that's 50. Excellent. All right, now we're gonna start picking up some speed. We're on the second half of this pyramid. So next is kick-ups, 40 reps. I know these are super tough. Just do your best. 
if I recall correctly. I believe the first time when we were working our way up the pyramid, I was able to do my first 20 reps unbroken, and then I just did two sets of 10 after that. That's probably what I'm gonna do again today, or today, again, on the way down, if I can even do the first 20 unbroken. I'll try to do 20 unbroken, but I might just need to do four sets of 10, because these are so hard, and especially since we're double counting them. They look easy, but when you're double counting them, 40 reps is a lot, so do your best. I'll see if I can do my first 20 unbroken. If not, it's fine. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, ten, so deceiving they look like nothing but I find them so taxing I really hate this exercise so why am I making myself do all these reps it's a good question it is a great cardio exercise so we're halfway done I'm gonna do two more sets of 10 let's keep it moving so if we can get my count at 20 one two Three, four, five. knees, palms are facing me, lift weights up to the shoulders, control the movement back down, that's one, that's five, for me. I'm halfway there. That's 20 for me. Just 10 more. My arms need a rest, so I'm putting the weights down for about, I don't know, 30 seconds or so. All right, just 10 more. So let's push through. When you feel that you have enough strength to continue with correct form, here we go, shoulders back and down, tighten those abs, soft knees, final 10 reps. Twenty-five, twenty-six, 
29, last time. And 30. is one rep. We're counting to 20. super tough. It's only 10 reps, so do your best. Break them up if you need to. This is our final 10 reps, and then we're just going to finish up with five more sets of 100 with the jump rope, okay? So here we go. Then over, starting with the weights together, and now lifting them to the side. sections. We're just going to finish up with five more sets of 100. If you're not jumping rope, but you are doing cardio, then you just have five minutes left of up and down stairs or shadow boxing or jogging in place or the elliptical or working on the heavy bag, whatever you're doing for your cardio sections. This is our last five minutes. I'm doing five sets of 100 with my jump rope. So as soon as you're ready, here we go.
set number four. Just one more to go. This is our final set of 100. to go. However, when I do a jump rope workout, in addition to my bonus burpee, I always like to do a bonus set of 100 revolutions with the jump rope. It's completely optional, but if you'd like to join me, it's just a little celebration that we got it done, a little exclamation point on the end of the workout. So if you would like to join me for this little bonus, we're just going to count another 100 revolutions with the jump rope. When you're ready, here we go. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty. again this week. So instead of jumping rope for 60 seconds, I'm going to do another Monday mobility challenge. And if I can successfully complete this mobility challenge, we all win free McFlurries. So if you would like to try it with me, here's what we're going to do. So you're going to start standing in a neutral position, bend one knee, hold on to the foot behind you, extend the other arm overhead. And now I'm going to bend over until my upper body is perpendicular to the ground. Reverse the movement. Now I'm gonna bend my standing leg and I'm gonna come down and tap this knee to the ground. And then stand. And that's it, we did it! Yay, free ice cream! I like these little mobility challenges and I would like to continue making Monday mobility challenges a thing as long as either I can keep finding cool mobility challenges on Instagram or you guys keep sending them to me. So if you see any more mobility challenges that you would like me to try, please send them my way and we can try them for our next Monday McFlurry Mobility Challenge. If you tried this mobility challenge with me, let me know how you did with it. If you did this workout with me today, thank you so much. Please let me know what you thought of it and how you did. Thank you to everyone who has been working out with me lately. And even if you're not doing the workouts with me, thank you for watching the videos. 
Thank you for liking and sharing the videos. Thank you for all of your wonderful and supportive and engaging comments. It means the world to me. Thank you to all of my new subscribers. If you are not subscribed already, please subscribe. And of course, a great big thank you to those of you who have been subscribed to my channel for years. Please know that I appreciate you all so very much. Please remember that I always take the time to type out the instructions in the description box below the video. But of course, if there are any questions about the format, how this workout fits together, how you can customize it, if you have questions about any of the specific exercises we were doing today, or if you need to see beginner modifications, please just ask. It's very important, first of all, that you understand how to do the exercises with the correct form before you begin the workout so that you reduce your risk of injury and so that you ensure that you're getting the maximum benefits out of each exercise. It is also extremely important to me that all of my workouts are accessible to anyone and everyone who wants to do them. I am always here to help facilitate that. So please don't hesitate to reach out if you have questions or if you need help. That is gonna do it for today. But before I say goodbye, I do have to say one final thank you to those of you who have been watching the videos all the way until the end and commenting with the secret code phrase of the day. So before I say goodbye, I will give you today's secret code phrase of the day. It is, I feel comfortable using legal jargon in everyday life. So if you are still watching this video, hello. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Please let me know that someone is still watching by going down to the comment section and leaving me a comment that says, I feel comfortable using legal jargon in everyday life. One last time, just in case you couldn't hear me over the plane. I feel comfortable using legal jargon in everyday life. That is gonna do it for today and I will see you all next time. Bye.